So let's have a look at double tantos. Now you've done a single tanto, we're going to use two. We're going to hold these in a slightly different way that maybe you're not expecting. So what I want you to do is hold the right one um, so it's sticking out to your side and the left one so your hand is the same way up but it's pointing also out to the side. All right. That means if I turn my hands this way, one is pointing down, one is pointing up. I might be laboring that point, but I know people get a little bit confused about that one. Now, the theory, if you like, the tactics of this is very, very similar when we're dealing with a single tanto. The only difference is you've now got two. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to step out to this side. And as I step out, this one is going to cut down as if it was going across the arm of the attacker. This one is going to follow it and come up across the same point. Because this one arrives back first, it will start its coming, its uh, return journey just before this one. So let's put that together again. I'm going to step out. This one cuts down. This one cuts up. This one then comes in. This one comes in. They're both being aimed at the arm of the knife that's coming towards me. The stabs, however, are both being aimed, one under the ribs heading upwards, one above the ribs heading downwards. Let's do that again. So from here, we step out and we go one, two, three, four. All of those movements should almost be in a dead straight line. So again, if you imagine, the line of the attack coming in, so as I step out, it's down, up, in, and in. Have a go.